everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page, and today I'm going to be doing my September TBR. Now, I mentioned before I'm a mood reader, so TBRs are kind of like hit or miss for me. I'm doing fairly okay with my TBRs. I've been doing fairly okay with my TBRs. I'll read about half the books I have on my list, um, but what I really like about them is like, I'll read one thing that's on my TBR and it will, like, spark an interest in me to continue reading in that genre. Or, like, last month it was graphic novels I read a whole bunch of. So that's kind of why I really like to do them, because it gives me an idea of what I might want to read in the month. But it also is kind of, like, inspiration for what else I could read. Um, I'm kind of doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing, doing a predictive text TBR. So I've seen it around on Twitter a bit where it's like start the sentence and then finish it with your predictive text and stuff like that. And Mikey over at Glam and Gore, which is a makeup channel who I absolutely adore, did this where um, the predictive text chooses her FX makeup. And I just thought that was really entertaining. And so I thought it might be a fun thing to try to do with my TBR to see what it chooses for me. Now I am, this is probably going to be a really long video, but I am going to try to keep it to the books I already own, both both in physical form and electronically, just because I don't want to spend 800 hours searching down books that fit weird criteria that I'm hoping it pulls up for me. So that does mean I'm actually filming on something else for once instead of my phone. So let me get into my texting. Okay, so I don't know how to start this. I didn't think this part through. Well, I guess the easiest thing maybe to do is go to August's August, August's TBR and look at the books that I have not read from that and see if I should keep them on this month's TBR, September's. Let's start with The Conspiracy of Kings. I did not get to it, which is really sad, but is the only reason I could have been, it's the only reason I could have been working pretty that been pretty busy with this one is definitely not going anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take that as it's staying on my TBR. That was a really long text, um, but that one will be staying. So book number one. I'm going to limit it to I don't know, we'll see how long this video takes, so. The Left Hand of God is also a book I chose last month. I did it for the, oh, those were both, I did the try a chapter tag for my TBR, and I didn't read either of them. Left Hand of God is not helping me with something that I can believe in and I don't think I can do anything for you. I'm going to take that as a no for now, which is kind of sad because I actually started that one. But I'm liking it okay. I was also supposed to read, um, for my book club, I had two books I was supposed to read this month. One I had already finished. The other one was Bonk by Mary Roach. I didn't get that far into it. We already had book club. It was actually last Sunday, depending on when this goes up. And so I don't really necessarily have to finish it, but we'll see if I should, if, if my text tells me I should. Bonk by Mary Roach. And the 
My options are Holy, Page, and Vodka. And the page of the... This isn't really going anywhere. My book club book. Let's see. Hang on. Last month's book club book of the year is the only thing I actually like to do. So I guess I'm going to try keeping it on my TBR. Okay then. Okay, so here is Bonk by Mary Roach. This will be interesting. Where did I put them? I guess I'll sit there for now. Uh, before I get back into the predictive text, I am also going to be continuing with Squire's Tale. This is the third month. It's been on my TBR. I know it probably sounds like I don't like it. I really do. Now, so we've gone on through the books that I haven't finished in my TBR this month. Um, Theft of Swords I'm not going to put on there because I am planning to buddy read it from Shayla over at Shay Geeks Out. Um, so I don't know when that's going to happen. So it might be on my TBR, it might not. We'll see. Now I'm just going to try it to have it pick some random things and see if any of my books fit that. How to do this? Maybe if I just, so, fantasy books with clear vision and the first half are not only the most important, but the best part. Okay, so I should read a fantasy because I said that with a clear vision, something that's easy and where it's a part of a series. So I do have oh, almost all fantasy books are often a part of the series, but I need to read the first book. See, I don't know if any of these are clear cut. I'm gonna give really stuck in there. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss a shot. I actually started reading this a while ago. Actually, there's my, wow, there's my marker. Um, I don't know why I stopped. I think I didn't realize that this was story was going to take place over three days. And so I was like, this is only the first day. And I was only that far and it kind of freaked me out for some reason. But I've heard really awesome things about it. I don't know that the vision, that's not the word, but the synop, the um, storyline is that clear. I mean, it is a fantasy book and those usually aren't, but we'll see. This is going to go on my TBR this month. Um, I have a couple of manga and I've been really in the like graphic novel mood, so I guess let's ask about manga. I think I'm going to do two more and call it good because I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, I'll have six after these last two. And I'm pretty sure it's getting real long, so I'll probably cut a lot of this out, but so best part of this game and it's not like you, I, or he. It's not like I would have had a chance to see if this works out, but I think it would probably like Thai. I do really love Thai food. I think, I know these are actual um, um, reproductions of American books, um, 
the Dark Hunter series, obviously by Sherilyn Kenyon. Um, I don't really have anything Thai, but I do have, I wonder if these are Asian. I got these on Book Outlet. They were like three bucks. I had been really in the mood for manga. These sounded real interesting. I wish I knew. This is by an Asian author. We'll go with it. I'm actually gonna pull both just because it's manga and I'll probably go fast. I hope I don't absolutely love it because I only have the first two and I didn't have any more, so. Last but not least, I'm actually gonna call it good because this video is probably forever long. Um, I'll probably add, end up having a longer wrap up like normal than I did for a TBR. That's perfectly fine with me. So this was my predicted tux, TBR. I guess let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is something I've just thought to give a shot. I don't know how it'll work. I don't know if it's a good idea or not. It was very kind of hard to get it to pick a thing, so maybe I should do Google completes my TBR or something like that, auto completes. So we will see. Um, but until the next video, ta-ta for now.